Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here to show you guys the LDRS Little Darlings Rubber Stamp um, Banner Stack Set. <laughs> and I had used this before on this one here. It creates these little sentiments here, these little banners, and you stamp it. I use this is the Christmas one and then this is the fall one. So I've used it twice already and I love it. And what it does is you're gonna get like a bunch of sentiments. You stamp it out. It does have registration marks, just like if you have a silhouette cameo machine or a Cricut. I think, I think the Cricut does the registration marks too. But this is what helps you line up the whole stack of banners. So when you're, if you are thinking of getting this, which um, it is available on Little Darlings Rubber Stamp, LDRS Creative. It's available at Simon Says Stamp, and I got mine at scrapbook.com, who was out of stock and is now back in stock with all three. So, we have the fall one, Harvest Wishes stamp set, and the Christmas Wishes stamp set. There is also another stamp set, and I'll show you the picture now. And this set is available as a HSN exclusive. And instead of having the little fishtails on the banner, it's a little swishy, swishy type. But what she said is that um, you could use this style of banner on those stamps, um, fishtail banner, on the stamps, the, the birthday one and the thank you one that's on HSN. So it's like a whole set and it's a really cool set. So let me show you how easy it is. And I'm gonna take my trusty Misty stamping tool. So whichever stamping tool you have. Now, if you're not a, you know, a, a great one-time stamper, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even a straight stamper. This is why the Misty comes in handy for me. I'll be stamping and it's like lean and hard on one side or heavy impression and then nothing and light on the other. So I cut a strip of cardstock down to and I'm just using Michael's cardstock. Um, four and an eighth by five and a half. I plan to run this through my Empress Mini. And these are photopolymer stamps. So they're high quality stamps. These are not acrylic stamps. So, you know, photo photopolymer gives you a better impression, lasts longer, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> All right, gently. And what she said, instead of just putting it down because, you know, because it's so big and it can move, she said, just drop it. Like, let me, there. Pick it up on the other end of your stamp platform. This is my um, mouse pad, my Misty mouse pad. I told you guys, if you use the original foam, it won't stamp as well as with the mouse pad. And if you think I'm joking, Go treat yourself to the mouse pad. Buy it at Joann's. They always have it on sale. You can't use a coupon on it, but they usually have it on sale. And try it with the original little foam that it comes with and then try it with the mouse pad and you're gonna be like, oh, Suzanne wasn't lying. Yes, it made that much of a difference. I was like, eh, it's not gonna make a big difference. Yes, it does. It really does. And then come back here. So the reason I dropped it like that was to hold the shape. Alrighty. And I'm also using my, my favorite things, extreme black ink. Love this ink. It is Copic friendly. So I use it for when I'm coloring my images. Here I am using my little, um, board eraser. If you went and um, looked at this, I got it for like a dollar something. I think the price went up back to five. Put it in your cart. Things on Amazon has a tendency of moving. I'll link it, I'll link it below again, but this is so I don't strain my hand trying to, you know, get the impression going. Okay, see how it's not even even here? <laughs> so, yay to the Misty. This is the one I just stamped, but I had pre-stamped some, so I'm gonna use my pre-stamp. And I'm gonna bring over my trusty little Empress Mini. So this will fit through like your Empress Mini, your Gemini Mini, 
your, what's the other one called? Diamond Press Marquee. Those type of small, the ones with the four inch opening. And how we're gonna line it up, because there is a way to line it up. Let me get out the die. So the die comes, what you're lining up is the, these holes, these little holes right here to the registration marks, those holes. That's what you're lining up. Okay, that's the good, that's a perfect alignment. As long as you can read in between the banner, there is a right way and a wrong way. If you line it up this way, see how it's not straight anymore? That's the wrong way. So when you see this go, oh, don't think, oh no, this thing doesn't work. Flip it the other way. Yes, it does. She designed it in such a way that the sentiments will fit in between each one. So the shorter ones will fit here with the shorter banner. This one with the longer, yada, yada, yada. There we go. Look at that. See how the registration marks line up? And now I'm going to take some purple tape. And I'm using my Amazon purple tape. Because I don't have any other purple tape down here. <laughs> you can tear it. Although I kind of... I kind of like to cut it because, yeah, there we go. And this tape, because it's so strong, I'm going to stick it not inside, on the outside. I don't care if it tears here, but I don't want it tearing in here. By about the third or fourth use, then I can use it like regular purple tape where it can go on the image itself and it won't tear it. But here I want it more so on the edge of the die holding on the paper. Alrighty, I'm gonna flip it upside down. There we go. Get this out of the way. There we go, lift it up, and ta-da! Oh, oh, I did do the fall one. <laughs> now, fall is gone, but guess what? I'm not wasting these. Let me show you what I'm going to do, do with them. I thought I had the Christmas one down. Oh, boy. So what you do is you use one of the sentiments, and you have all these extra bits. I put it in the back of the package. And this was recommended by the owner of the company, Angie Hunt, from LDRS Creative. See how it cuts so cute? And just save them. I put this down for a year. It'll still be there. I just tuck them in the back here. So you can cut a bunch, different color cardstock bases. You can heat emboss. You can do all kinds of good, good, goody, good things with them. Ooh, I can't even speak. Let's go again, because now I want to do the Christmas one. Now, this is where the... See, you just want to line up those... Um, the registration marks with it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Bing, bing. Now, I know you can cut into your... Um, magnetic mat. I don't like cutting into my magnetic mat. You see that little hard line right there? Sometimes when I'm cutting foil, it'll emboss on the reverse side of the foil. I don't like that. I don't like extra emboss. Go. Christmas wishes and mistletoe kisses. So after I did that cutting, I get 12, 12 sentiments, 12 holiday sentiments or 12 fall sentiments. If you get the one from HSN, you're getting, you know, birthday, but you're getting 12 of them. Take your 12 sentiments. If you don't use them up, tuck them right here in the back. So I used one out of 12, and now I have another set of 12 ready to go. And you can do different color cardstock. You can emboss, do some heat embossing, and that's pretty much it. But you have to have this, this base to be able to cut these images. Seeing that they are a little bit, you know, wavy. That's what it's called, right? Wave, wave ribbon banner. Alrighty, folks. Until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.